Welcome back to Stay Tuned, and today we're going to revive one of my favorite projects, my cheap Turbo Lincoln. Uh, we slapped this thing together for a few bucks, made a ton of really great power, and it was running killer. So we wanted to build a cheap turbo car and do it a little bit differently. So we went out and bought a 1998 Lincoln Mark 8 for $1,200, took an on three $300 turbo and boosted that modular 4.6 liter V8 to 400 wheel horsepower. All in, we spent under $4,000. <laughs> And we were really pumped to take this thing to the drag strip and see just what it could do. Okay, so the story of this car at the track for the first time is a short and not so sweet one. Uh, the car had been on the dyno and we had it towed over to the track and it showed up a couple hours late and we just thought it's time to scramble. We have to get this thing down the track, get it shot for video and get rocking. Now my brain said, just do a nice shakedown run and feel it out. Except that my right foot said, put the hammer down and try to break every speed record in the world. Uh, turns out, wasn't the best idea. Uh, by mid-track, we were running 15, 16, 17 pounds, and a lot of the internal engine parts became external engine parts, and our day was done. But we didn't want to give up on this project because it's just so much fun, so we had to make a plan. So the plan was to find a 4.6 motor with a built bottom end as cheaply as possible. Barb over here used to have an 01 bullet with an entire 03, 04 Cobra drivetrain swapped in. Yeah. And those are beasts. Mm -hmm. Tell us all about them. It's the baddest one. Forged crank, forged rods, yeah. good C heads. They made 400 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque stock. Stock. That's so nuts. I remember 0304. Yeah, that's serious. They're factory supercharged motors. They're built for boost. And we thought we had our hands on one for 3,000 bucks. A guy had reached out on Facebook, said, I've got this thing. It's laying around. Do you want it? We got some pics. Said, yeah, big yes. We said yes. It had the blower on and everything. We were actually thinking about ditching the, the turbo system and just going supercharged. Yeah. And essentially, we learned uh, after it didn't show up one weekend after another, never trust a guy with two first names. And uh, we had to start looking at other options. So you're heartbroken a little bit, but we did find this killer. This is a fully built 4.6. That is a Lincoln Mark 8 motor from like a 96, and it's got all sorts of goodies in it. Yeah. All right. Flip it over there, Barb. Bring it in here Ooh. tight, champ. Fine. That good? I like it. Good view. It's a great view. All right. So the deal on this thing, we paid $4,300 for a 4.6 Mark 8 engine that is fully built. This has got an Eagle Stroker crank in it. It's got... Four Raj, Arias right. Pistons. The best part of it is the guy told me, listen, I've got a 10 and a half to one compression nitrous motor that my dad bought from an engine builder and never used. So it kind of turned me off at first because that's a lot of compression. Yeah. Plus boost, it's not the, fire. yeah. But as I dug, he said, I don't have a ton of information on it, but here's what I've got. He sent me a piston card, cam cards. Oh, did I mention it has uh, bullet, bullet cams in it? Cams, yeah. yeah. ARP literally everything, so it, this thing is built to the hilt. But what's nice is I think he was wrong about the compression because I looked on the piston card and did the math myself, and I came up with this thing being like eight eight to one. And every other and on the can, on the like eight, nine to it one. says eight yeah. nine. Yeah, I just ballparked the thickness of the gasket and how far the pistons are in the hole and stuff. But essentially, what we've got here is boost motor ready for action. A killer stroker. A boost motor and we checked it out you can see it's got forged everything hardened hardware everywhere uh, it's got main studs it's got main studs side studs yeah. everything this guy went hard he spent some money on this thing I yeah. mean you couldn't replicate this for twice as much it doesn't have side studs because side studs can't work because you right side bolts side bolts misspoke but essentially what we're looking at here, again, fully forged everything. This is an Eagle Stroker crank. It's 375 stroke. Um, these I-beam rods. What do you call them? H-beam rods. That's right. Yep. Hardened everything, all the hardware. This thing is ready to rip, and it's just about 9 to 1. So it's going to be 
Yeah, we couldn't have, and what's nice is, look, we're trying to keep this cheap. We're not trying to spend a million bucks. It's $4,300, a lot of money, sure, but for this, it's not. You couldn't build this for twice this money. Plus, you gotta wait on machine shop work, all this stuff. The only thing we don't know is the ring gap, but we're gonna cross our fingers and yeah. send it, and she's gonna be all right. Yeah. This beautiful Ford Racing blue powder-coated valve covers, but unfortunately, they're for the earlier ones with two coils up here and a bunch of wires running around, and we're gonna use our coil unplug stuff, so they've gotta go, but it's all right, because Zach did his own wrinkle paint version of this. Not good. It came out. I'm giving the guy some props. I man. love it. He put in some serious effort. He did it. Proud of you. Please take a second and go over to the Stay Tuned merch store. We've got a rack of shirts from the original Stay Tuned shirt, Angelo's Gym. We're going to lose the shop and my new Firebird shirt. Check it out, and there's lots of stickers, too. Got that figured out? No. All right, Barb is out getting valve cover gaskets, and the two of us are trying to figure out how to get in these Super Coupe upgraded engine mounts. This is the upgraded one. That's the old factory one. Those are hydraulic. These are solid rubber, so they're much stiffer, and they're going to take way, way more abuse. If we can figure out how to clock them in there. Yeah, keep spinning it. That'll help. It's like a helicopter. Should put a motor coil on it. That one says L. Is that good? You taking a big L here? Yeah. yeah we that easy. Bang. Imagine that. The factory. Let me get that back one. My first torque, you know? You go down. Cool. So what's happening here is that we were so convinced that someone was gonna bring us this Cobra engine with a belt-driven intake manifold that we tossed our old intake manifold and engine block in the trash, scrapped all that stuff, then wound up buying a 96 to 98 Cobra intake manifold, which is deeply awesome, but turns out is like a bunch different. We had to like modify our fuel rails to fit. We had to now figure out how to get this alternator to bolt up and a few other things. So it's just been like, Seems like there's a, we, year to year, a lot of differences in the Ford stuff. They're just, you know, making it better, right? They're just making it better, Barb. Yeah. You're real hating her. I'm not hating anything. I, hating. I'm excited about this. Look at this thing. Look at that big bathtub on top. This might make more power than anything we have. Yeah, I don't know if I love that, but I do oh. love it. I love more power, because then we're going to put a smaller pulley on the Firebird or something. So, just having a disagreement. Big Ford guy. a lot of time together. All right, so we need a one-inch spacer. What do you got there? Some poly locks for a small block Chevy. Oh, you're excited now. Yeah. Got to get some Chevy parts on there. Is it going to slide this up? There is some sort of spacer and whatever that's clearly different from the Mark 8 to the Cobra and everything, so we're just going to make this work. So if you need a spacer, get a really long bolt, and just run a poly lock in your business. Boom. As lined up as you can get them, yeah. Beautiful. Ford stuff. Ford sucks. Wow. Valve covers are on. Cobra intake is on. It's the coolest part. We grabbed an AC compressor delete from Dorman. Mm -hmm. That's going on now. Zach's going to get on the power steering pulley, and then we'll have proper accessories finished up. That feels good. That's a win there. Accessories always take forever, it seems like. We're getting there. Let go. Wow. That has a lot of movement in that tensure. Yeah, it's beautiful. Boom. All right. So Barb is scraping off the cylinder head so we can install our Junkyard Perfect turbo system. And I reached out to our guys at Gearstar because hopefully this built motor is gonna make a bunch of horsepower. So if you need something that can handle serious power, these guys make a 4R70W that's supposed to be good to 750 horsepower. It's crammed full of every good thing you can put in these Ford transmissions. This is a 4R70W 
uh, stage four from these guys. They've got a yank billet converter, hardened intermediate shaft, racing friction plates, uh, all new steel plates. They reprogram the valve body. This thing is as good as it gets. And I'm hoping that this little 4.6 makes all the power that this thing can handle. Now we can slap it together, put this on that, get it back up and in the car. We've got our 4.6 mod motor all dialed in. We did a bunch of different accessories. Full accessory drive is done. Coolant crossover is done. Power steering reservoir is mounted. The lines are all done. It's all on the other side of this thing. By the way, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but now we're ready to finally uh, put that gear star transmission onto our 4.6. We've got an SFI flex plate we got from Summit uh, that should be able to handle all the kind of power we're going to make. And all we got to do is lift that big heavy thing up and stab it on here. That's where Zach comes in. Colin lifted that yesterday. Woo! She's hefty. Good lord. Yes, I did that. Let's go down. Mm -hmm. All right, there. Look. Smells like someone's doing burnouts in here. Yeah. You got any hot dogs? Little roasters, marshmallows? Just let that simmer for a while. It's fine, everything's fine. We are putting in the starter and the charging harness. Go around motor all the way back up to where the fuse panel is and where the battery is on the driver's side of the car. Uh, just gonna fish it through and make some connections and have a starter so we can start this. Say I'm start, say start I'm again. I'm excited for starting. We're gonna All start right. by starting the starting part. Can't start wait to start, start, start some things. Sweet. What do you got? What's that? Well, when Tell we me. Uh, last put this car together and got it running, we used a Motes little piggyback computer board thing to control the fuel and the spark, and then Motes immediately went out of business. Do you like, think it's because they sold the video? Later, I don't know if it was something we said. They were overwhelmed with orders from could, Yeah, maybe they were overwhelmed yeah. with orders. That could have been it. Anyway, they're out of business now. We've upgraded significantly with our tuning capabilities. We're going to run the Holly Terminator X computer. X Max. Excuse me. We're going to run the Holly Terminator X Max. This is a killer unit. It has full uh, transmission control, plus it is going to control the entire engine as well. So air, fuel, transmission control, all of it. It's a cool little unit. This is actually one of their starter units, but it's super powerful. I'm excited about it. Plus, it'll make the tuners happy, because when we got in there and started telling Brad, he had to like scuff the, <laughs> the board. The He's like, wait, silicone how much of the copper do we have to take off in Yeah, uh, he wasn't thrilled. Yeah. This is more his language, I think. Yeah, I'll be excited about this. All right, and then I'm Off just going to start speed. knocking in. Hey, Zimmy, what are you doing over there? Beating it. So are those. What else is new? Just, just, yeah, just stick it in there. He doesn't like loot. Wow. We have a press. We have a pre Yeah, I got them nice and cozy warm. Well, guess what, Tony? What? They're I'm already installed. I'm not impressed. I did it with my brute strength. Wow. Just kidding. Just do. This might be difficult to lay out. WBO2. Or this go all the way around. All right. So this harness, uh, what's nice is Holly gives you a harness that's made for each engine. Um, so the whole family of 4.6 dual overhead cam Fords is represented. That's what we've got here. Just trying to figure out the tidiest way to lay it out. Fuel pressure, don't need it. Oil pressure, should probably get one. There isn't one on there? We, there's a spot for it, we can add it. I'll well, just add a regular transducer. Mm. Pickup guy and then we'll be in business there. Oh, the floor housing on that side. Ready? So fun fact about four valve starters, that's this guy down here. 
they have three bolts to go in and in the factory service manual and if you are a Ford tech, uh, they tell you if you have to change the starter or like if you put a set of headers on at your house or whatever, uh, they tell you not to put the top bolt back in because you cannot get to it. Well, I missed that. Put a set of long tubes on and spent four hours trying to get one bolt in. Called my buddy and he was like, oh yeah, you're not supposed to put that one back in. Like, oh, okay, cool. I just wasted half of my life on one bolt. So we're gonna put it back in. So don't put this one in. For this car, it's not a big deal because you don't have headers on it. You can just come through the front with an extension. Let's have a look at how it lays out. Give me a sec. We're gonna put it back in because three is better than two. Why don't you wipe down the gasket on those barb cool covers and we'll get those bad boys in now that our coils are going in. Yeah, be ginger with those desk. things. Barb specials. You know it. So, realize how grody our coil covers were. And uh, Barb, Michael, I'm not a Ford guy, Barb Leonardo had a set of sick machined custom See that? signature <laughs> coil covers from his Mustang. You're gonna be the nicest part of this car. Coming out of retirement for this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Ford guy anymore, but I'm building a Falcon. <laughs> I'm not a Ford guy, but I play one on YouTube. I'm not a Ford guy, but my office chair is a Mustang seat. Wow! Damn, he's got me. Is that true? Yeah. That's dark. <laughs> That's dark! I'm being the exhaust so he knows where to put the wires so they don't melt. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly this is exactly where it goes. It's just like my arm. My fist is the turbo. Make the noises. I don't know how to make those noises. Is that how it goes? Oh, we're good to go. Okay. Trying to get him in the hole, baby. I'm going to get the proper tool for the job here. Done no right no loud that is in here. Do you like now? It's very loud. It's probably the same amount of loudness that it is out here. If I was a betting man. To Stick your tongue through there. Ah! <laughs> That's sharp. That was my hand, dude. Oh. It's like my fingers are sharp. Let's go. Oh. All right, it's time to put an R. Fully built. Fully built, there he goes again. Fully built, baby. Fully forged bottom end Barb Leonardo special. 4.6 liter, stroked out to a five liter. Call that a big block in the Ford world, I think. <laughs> I think they have those. Oh, they, they do have they those. Do have All right, come forward of like nine feet. <laughs> well, we're not centered either. That's why I went back so far, I so like you it. turn. Ooh, I love it. And yeah. then come back. Yeah, we'll par mean? parallel park this thing in exactly. there. Exactly. All right. I'll be your eyes. Yeah, looks pretty good. Stop. He's telling me directly. Go down, go down. I can. You want to stay like this? Watch I'm gonna out. stay on here. Yeah, just go real slow. Get out, Zach. I'm trying. These new glasses don't Why? work no, like no, they stay. should. Go in there and pull the wires through as we go down. They look nice. I can't see. That's good. <laughs> All right. All right. Go uh, down slow. Yeah. You should be able to just push it. Hang on. All right. Hold up. Stop. Dial on this side. Okay. We're looking pretty good there. Okay. Go ahead. One more. She's in a ballpark for sure. All right. Hang on. Stop. Let me get out of here. It's Look curling this. up in a ball. I'm with a hit. The hood's about smashing. Easy. I got it. Watch yourself. Got it? Yeah. Woo! Close. Right, She's in there on. close. Go ahead. Stop. Okay. Okay. How are you on the front to back? Uh, you should be very close. Pretty. All right, close. Let me get a, one of those things, too. So if you look at that tab that sits down off the frame, that should be right where it's supposed to be, I think, right? Yeah, it's super close. You can just throw the pole jack under it quick.
one hole. In the middle? Yeah. I guess that works. One's good, right? Something. Look at that, packed in there tight like Father Ford would have wanted. <laughs> Dude, we have so much more room for this up pipe now. Yeah? Cool. Oh, because of the AC? Yeah, look at that gaping hole. Sweet. All right, so our built 4.6, excuse me, let me not say built. We've got our 4.6, it's fully forged up and in our Lincoln Mark 8. The Cobra intake is definitely sticking up out of the hood would be my guess, so I'm not worried about that right now. Looks killer, everything fits so tight in here. We can start connecting everything, throw the turbo on and hopefully hit the road soon. Just gotta connect eight million things. Drive shaft, shifter, a lot, of lot of wiring, radiator hoses, battery, turbocharger, up pipe, turbocharger, oil lines, throttle cable, uh, lots of stuff. All right, good deal. That looks sick though. There. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's close. I can't even get it. Oh, there it goes. Pretty good, the last little. She's under some tension. It's like a like a wild cat trying to bust out of there. Yeah, it's gonna go. Go ahead. Yeah, I can see some tension on it, but it's. I mean, we could take the in, insulation out and see where we're at. Uh, Give her a little bump. Oh. It's a lot closer than I thought. Yeah, she springs up with some force. It's honestly not as bad as We could probably get away with it. When we got our Lincoln, I paid twelve hundred bucks for this thing. It was pretty clapped out. These cars come with a notorious air leveling suspension system and pretty much everyone deletes them that wants to keep them reliable and not spend eight grand to replace all that stuff. Our car already had it deleted, but the other brand of delete kit actually had some broken coils in it. So we reached out to our guys at Dorman and they sent us their kit. Again, it's just taking uh, what's like an air spring and converting it to a proper coil over and then you don't have any more problems. We've already done the back, that stuff's installed. And to make it even better, as you can see, a lot of this suspension is just shot. Lower control arms are shot, ball joints are wrecked. We're gonna kind of upgrade everything. We've got lower arm strut bushings, tie rods, boots, cause they're ripped. So, and already put in a set of upper arms, all stuff from Dorman. And it should really, really refresh the front end of this car. And back to its form of glory. Yes. I don't know that it ever had too much don't glory. Don't say that out loud. But we love this. It's gonna ride like a Lincoln, right? Yeah. That's what they say about Cadillac. That's like, yeah, yeah. it's gonna drive like a Cadillac when we're done. Cadillac Lincoln. Ford guys are gonna love that. Mm -hmm. Side is done. Pretty much all the suspension has been replaced. Should be good as new. It's gonna ride like a Cadillac. The hot John. Ooh. Oh my, mama mia! Crisp. Oh. Once upon a time, there was a bunch of guys, and they put together this tight ass car. The end. They were all short. Five. Lay it out. All right, we've got our new engine in the car. That represents half the party. And this 70 millimeter on three turbocharger is the other half. We built together this incredibly well designed kit, mostly from stuff we had laying around. And it's time to put it back on this thing. This turbocharger retails for $317 US. It's gonna make all sorts of power. Nothing better than a cheap turbo. Nothing better. I bet you it adds 300. All right, like a really expensive power. turbo might be better, but like this is. It'd be hard. 
hard pressed to find more fun for 300 bucks. L legal fun. Excuse uh, me wow. over there, you degenerate. Uh, legal, family friendly fun. Call this had to go exactly one way. Mm -hmm. like no, 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 down. down so the other pipe can fit past. Yeah, yeah that's right. And Bring it back all the memory. Sure is. Yeah. Did that used to hit there? No. Well, yeah, actually. Uh huh. Right like that. Beautiful. How's that sitting there? Got it. <laughs> Very smart. What? Just look at the side of the oil pan and tell me what we did wrong. What do you mean? The drain? <laughs> the pan's full now. Ooh, nice. You'll be alright. I just went, that looks like it's sticking out. Oh. What's the problem over there? Uh, we have a cap over the oil drain, which uh, resides underneath the oil level when it's full and we filled it up. So we have to take it off and then quick put a line on it or we'll just drain some out. <laughs> Should be alright. Yeah. And we got to absolutely put it in there. It just barely fit. All right, come on. Now go around. Nah, there you go. Hold on, hold on. You're hitting the frame there. Love it when a plan comes together. You need more? More. You yeah. did it all right. All right, John, here. It's amazing. I'll have the fuel filters right here. We can just change it whenever. That's what I said. Get a fuel filter. It's amazing yeah, that the guy that wanted that also did that. Same, same guy, man. Same guy. He does it all. He does, yeah. Well, he'll do whatever you want. He does it all. He'll do it nice. Do he'll do it quick. Do you want a $40 an hour weld or a $10 an hour weld? I'll do them both. Huh? So we want to just rotate. Like and then you electrocute it. Yeah, they yeah, remember that. Uh, grab a couple more zip ties. You got to ground the welder. You yeah, you always use Tony's arms as grounds. Yep. And you can't be wet. Weird. I've done it a couple times. See this? That goes on the outside of that. Come on, get this up and out of here. <laughs> so we're going to get them all in line. There's a and lot of oil in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask, like, could we flush it out after the mishap? I don't know. I think we got all the rocks and engine, like, parts we of the engine. We got the chunks out. They yeah. might smoke a little bit. It'll be fun. It's all right. That's that new oil. It's off. fully oil blackened. That packing oil. <laughs> packing oil. What do you want to do? Hose it out? Nah. Nah. Get, get a little feather duster, run it through there. Mm. Right. Up pipe. Slide her in. A couple of fruity pebbles over there. Coming through. Did I put that on prematurely? Can't remember. I think you'd be alright. Let me get this. Rotate it in place. Oh, there you go. Okay. This is really fun. I'm having so much fun. And you twist this goddamn thing. Taking it all in. You want to do it? I already twisted it a bunch. You heard the saying about monkeys doing things. It's that one bolt. Oh, it's it's a stupid. lot like a football, doesn't it? They found a stick. <laughs> We're getting the answer to the wall. <laughs> oh. Grab your exhaust. Let's we'll see where this has to go. Yeah, they reach. All right, baby. That, ain't, that, that can't be right. What do you mean? The turbo's like this. It was definitely more level. Bring in your exhaust, let's see what it looks like. But I don't remember it being all super cockeyed. Because I should have right down. That's what I mean, whatever. So we, I decided to pull the turbo apart so I could get it all mounted in and then clock it properly. And I'm glad I did because I'm finding bits of the old engine stuck to this exhaust wheel. There's no chips that I can see, so we're just gonna hose it off and run it. How, uh, how much you get old engine parts? You see here, that's part of like 
piston rings and bearings and stuff that were exploding out of the exhaust. Memories from the past. Yeah, yeah. See, I shut her right down as soon as it happened. Uh, you know, to try to save everything. You can tell her it looks mint. Yeah, it is, but it's also covered in actual hard parts. And in there is a bunch of f***ing, you know. Are you using this? Uh, no. Leave us an 11 and a 10 and that whole long setup, though. It's time to decide that now. Get a crack, crack that around that. That's not a sticky right So we have got the turbocharger set up all back into our Lincoln. Uh, we're just throwing the drive shaft back in it now. And then we're going to wire up the Holly and get this thing fired up. And I cannot wait to hear this built motor rip. There's quite a bit of wiring and stuff we're going to do. We'll make it look cool. Be like, check it out. Wires connected. We do sparks, Zach. You want to do a lot of sparks? We can make sparks. Yeah, we might have some maybe montage music left over. We'll get some of that in there. You just like run a grinder along while I'm wiring up. I like it. Do it. Since we redid all the suspension with that dormant stuff, we went out on eBay and grabbed a set of these pretty sweet knockoff wheels. It's the only thing we could really find in the 5x108 bolt pattern. Uh, They almost look like work C R Kai's. A little bit of inspiration drawn there. And we wrapped them in these Mickey Thompson ET streets because this thing should uh, need all that grip in the back. It also looks way better than those rusty five spokes we got the car on. This is my Lincoln. Yeah. It's a Lincoln welder. <laughs> the world's most powerful fan, Lincoln Mark 8. I'm gonna need somebody to do a TPS auto set for me, but. We gotta look at the firmware first. Mm -hmm. You ever just rev your fan off? Hell yeah. <laughs> Standard procedure. All right, one big thing we did have to change over from our Terminator X is that we wound up running the Holly 3 bar map sensor. Anytime you're running forced induction, you can't run the internal one bar map sensor. And an easy way to think about this is that one bar is for NA, and essentially, if you wanna run one bar of boost, then you need a two bar sensor if you wanna run three bar of boost, you need a four bar sensor. That's just the way it works. So basically one bar is 15 pounds. If you wanna run 15 pounds of boost, get a two bar, but we're gonna go harder than that. And we got a three bar. Say, started, every time I say bar, you gotta drink. <laughs> this is my two nerve handbook. Is that gaff tape back? <laughs> Watch mm -hmm. tape back. X, <laughs> circle, <laughs> right button. Are you putting in cheat codes, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot compute. <laughs> Cannot compute. <laughs> <laughs> this thing doesn't know what's about to hit it. <laughs> it still thinks some grandma's in here. <laughs> yeah, rub the snake. Yeah, there it is. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> All right, so we've got our built 4.6 engine in there with the Gear Start Trans. Holly Electronics are on there. We have been oh, working yeah, on this thing forever. This is 60 times more complicated than every other car we've worked on so far this year. Because uh, it's yeah. a Ford. It's packed in there tight. We have Brad from PSR. He's here with his, his laptop, and apparently this thing is ready to fire up. We've run a lot of wires, Probably should and uh, <laughs> we're living on a prayer. Fire it up. Zach, ready? Yeah. Zach. Well, that's something. Cycle the key. Cycle the key. Made sounds. It's doing some weird shit with like. Um, there is no idle air valve, so you'll have to yeah. give it a little yep. throttle. You are only like barely right here. So yeah, I'm no, excited. No, no, no. I'm excited. This is gonna be the best. It's doing something where it, when it sits, it fucking loses the connection. Turn the key on. Yes. Daddy, come on. This it's went from like the car we did not care what about at all to the raddest. Oh, it's like, okay. So, so fuel. Yeah, go ahead. Not, and right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted the scary noises to stop. We're probably gonna have to yeah, turn lifters. Yeah, those oh, lifters yeah. are they take making a racket there. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I didn't get the chance oh, to see. Yeah, I would log it like an idiot. It's, it's, uh, Woo! I didn't get a chance 2015 to year. Down. Beautiful yeah, build. Yeah, it's nice vintage uh, right there. I need some more gas. That's your job. That Ain't got no gas in it. Come on. Go
Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, gonna take a while. Almost saved it. She's a smoker. Yeah. Yeah, she's a midnight sure. toker. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you have the rights for that? No, sorry, Steve Miller man. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> I'm not paying you. For that. Yeah, we don't have money for that shit. <laughs> We're gonna have to do something. We're trying to get the idol come up. Okay. With that screw. Yeah. Fire it up, dude. Come on. So Brad's in the last 30 minutes tuning this thing, just sitting here kind of giving us like a rough bass tune. Uh, the motor sounds awesome, turbo's a little bit smoky, but this thing is killer. I'm gonna fire it up, see how it does, and uh, get a feel for this bad boy. Let me just... Oh yeah. This has been a lot of work. So next time you see this thing, we're going to have it on the dyno. We're going to hook up the meth injection, the boost control, and put a bigger fuel pump in it. But right now, I'm going to take it out, put a bunch of street miles on it, being as restrained as possible. Uh, but I am stoked. This thing is killer. That's it for this episode of Stay Tuned. We will see you guys next time. I don't think I'm a Ford guy, but I'm, I might be getting close. Might be getting close. I'm really, I'm whatever guy uh, we're working on this week. That's what I am. What are we next? Lotus guys?